Okay, so you already had a little private conversation about your height. Uh, how is it to be a tall actor? Because in Hollywood, because all of the Hollywood actors are short. Maybe I'm sharing secret, but. <laughs> I mean, I'm just thankful to be six foot five. I like being six foot five. And yeah, there's sometimes I've missed out on movies because they said I was too bare, too tall compared to the lead actor. That's okay, but you know, I still keep grinding and do what I got to do. Have a great time. And Hollywood is Hollywood. So that's that's just something I got to contend with. That's all. So you are part of the Bay team, yes. and uh, you, I really like your role in it. Uh, what is it from inside? So uh, how do you like your character in Bay? I like the character. I'm very thankful that Gregory offered it to me. I've had a good time playing it. Uh, he, I played him when he was young, and I played him as an old man. So it was just fun to see the transition from young to old and getting to play him both ways, especially when he was old and decrepit and in a wheelchair and all that kind of stuff. So it's just fun to make up a character and make it work. I just hope it worked for them, that's all. Isn't, um, for an actor, and you have to play a struggled character, you know, who is old and couldn't walk or something. So it d doesn't give you an um, after, you know, when you go home, it doesn't affect your mood and uh, it doesn't stay with you for a little bit. No, I'm not a method actor. I'm more of a guy who they say action, you turn it on, and they say cut, you turn it off. I don't live the character even in my l real life. So that's how I do it. So I, can, I can turn it off when I need to. It doesn't affect me oh, in that way. Wow. No. So I don't go home with the character if he's a sad or upset character or a crazy character. Yes. I don't go home with that same attitude. No, I just play on the set, and when they say cut, I'm back to being Isaac C. Singleton Jr. again. Yeah. The Bays, they won, won a lot of Emmys last year, so it was basically the lead. And um, what did it mean for you? So what this um, award means for you? Well, I'm just thankful that Gregory and them are getting the Emmys. You know, I didn't get put up for one, but you know, I mean, I'm not one of the major roles, and I was one of the uh, supporting roles. So it was just fun to play it. And I'm congratulatory to them that they won the ex Emmys and they deserve them because they did a good job. Yeah. And tonight we are here in the Burbank International Film Festival. Uh, is it your first time or you already attend before? I've come here at least six times. I've come here, I've come, attended six times. Somebody fell down over there. That's why I looked over there. Anyway, he seems to be okay, so that's good. Anyway, um, yeah, I've come, to, I've come to at least six times, if not more. So yeah, I've been attending this for quite some time now. Do you see changes? Do you see changes um, in these years? It just seems like it seems to get better and better. They keep getting better and better stuff each year. So yeah, they're just improving, it seems like to me. I mean, I know COVID put a little damper on it last year, but it seems like it's gonna come back and do better again. So that's good. Films are being made and people are able to get their films out there. Let's go back to the Bay for a little bit. Are you shooting right now? I am in the middle of a movie right now. I started this Sunday and I got another day on it. Yes, so yeah, I started another film, yes. Can you share something about it? Well, I don't, I mean, I'm, the producers might not want me to give anything away. The movie's called Redville, I can tell you that much. And it's a pretty good story. A lot of action, suspense. So it's a good time, yeah. And I like the character I play in that also. Okay, thank you so much for stopping by.